Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome very much back to The Crooked Man. I know some people are going to say it's crooked, but I watched Pews for this and now I can't hear anything else but crooked. Okay, a couple of things. Number one, uh, I know this is bad YouTube etiquette, but I'm filming this during my breakfast and I'm having a bacon sandwich, so I apologise if I'm eating during this, such as. Secondly, I apologise for talking with my mouthful. Ah, oh, I bet that was lovely for you to hear. Right. Now, a bit of background on what happened with this. Essentially, in short, uh, these games are made for the PC. They are not made for the Mac on which I play them. So, uh, there was a... To play these games, you use something called wine uh, Wineskin, which essentially lets you play PC games on um, a Mac. I really wish I hadn't eaten, eaten some more of that bacon sandwich now because it's stuck in my teeth. I'm going to make horrible noises. I apologize. Um, so yeah, so it's made for the it's made for the uh, PC, and as such, essentially what this now means is that um, you can play the games on the Mac using this uh, thing called Wineskin. Now this is supposed to be in short, and I realize I've just said the same thing like four times because I lost my train of thought. Right. Okay, so using Wineskin, using the old versions, I had some problems, had to update my operating system, at which point neither Wineskin nor the version of Crookman I had would work anymore. So that's why I had to stop playing it. However, there's a new version of Wineskin out. Uh, it now works, and it means that I can now not only finish playing this, but I can also play other games. This, however, still leads to some problems with this game. Namely, it's a text problem. Now, what happens, every now and again, the text goes a bit weird. Sometimes it just happens, other times uh, it happens if you skip through text too quickly, and uh, usually it happens when you try and save the game, which I will demonstrate to you now. So we save the game. Now, you can see on the left here, the text has gone weird and at the top. So we save the game, but now the text is weird. Now, the only way to rectify this is to return to the title, and reload the game, problem solved. Now, unfortunately what this means is that's gonna happen every time I save the game. So what I'm gonna to have to do, uh, obviously I've got to do it, but I can cut it out for you guys, is that I can cut out the moments where I have to save and reload the game, because I don't want you guys to have to sit through and watch that. Now this does mean that there's probably gonna be a few jump cuts throughout the gameplay, but uh, if I do have to, have to skip anything for any reason, I will let you know what's happened. Um, but if there are jump cuts, it's just where I've had to cut out a save usually, so don't worry, you're still getting the full experience. But, we shall now get on to this. So, I honestly can't remember where we left off. I've got a brass key, so where does the brass key go to? Let's see. Oh, great, now I remember where we left off. Son of a bitch. Hi there. No way, that monster did it really? It survived, David. It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Ah! Oh, I forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to run. Oh. I'm such an idiot. Well, that's one load screen you're gonna have to see. Right. Okay, I apologise. I can't skip. I can't really quickly skip through this, because otherwise it'll fuck up the text. So I apologise that you're gonna have to see it again. So freaky. No way that monster did it, really. It's a coming. Just realised my cursor was there. It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Right, run, David. And now you have to kick it down the hole. Maybe if I drop him down here. Die, crook man. Was that... What is that monster? So what I saw earlier. I can't believe such a thing exists, but there's no way it's coming back now. The room under's locked tight, is it, David? Is it really? I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew this would be dangerous for her. So, yeah, uh, if you haven't um, watched the rest of the playthrough, I recommend you go back and do that, because obviously we're not starting at the very beginning of this. Um, 
But uh, it is great fun to be back playing this. Right. Keyhole. Paint it over. Keyhole. Paint it over. Keyhole. Paint it over. Oh. It's not where we want to go. Keyhole. Paint it over. Nope. Staff only. Lock with the pass passcode. Ah, yes. Right. The passcode. Okay. So, um, there's a puzzle here that's basically got something to do with one of the books up the top. That's what I was doing. So, essentially, the puzzle is here with one of the books. Strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now, I think the code is the chap the num the chapter numbers that are missing. So, chapter what? So, so three, six, seven, nine. 3679367936793679367936793679369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369369
Okay, so, what are we here for? Uh, oh, hello. What? The writing's on the floor. A message in red. Was this here before? No, it was not, David. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Come to me, I'm waiting for you. Well, that's slightly contradictory. <laughs> Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Oh, fuck no. You again. Why? I dropped you down a pit. Crap, gotta do something. Uh, right, I know some of these bottles of... Uh, how about some of this? I knew some of the bottles were, like, filled with alcohol, and now we can set him on fire or something. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah, guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Get your lighter, David! Oh, crap, the text. Uh, it's something, something, something about setting him on fire. Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> something, something, something about take that, you motherfucker. Something more about something else we should do that I can't read. And even more stuff I can't read. Probably about checking on Sissy. See, that's a problem that he's going to have with this playthrough, I think, is that I'm going to have to do things like that. Is it, so is it going to do it when I do the item menu as well? Yes, it is. Oh, God damn it. That's going to make... Okay. That's going to be quite difficult. I apologise. That is not going to make... Uh, things easy, but hopefully we don't have to use stuff in the inventory too often. It seems to do it automatically. We should be alright. Okay, so I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going now, what I was looking for. So let's just wander and see what I can find. Keyhole's painted over. <sighs> Nothing in there. Keyhole's painted over. Keyhole's painted over. Keyhole's painted over. This room. I can't do anything with that room. Keyhole's painted over. Okay, well that's odd. But never mind. I will try and sort out the text problem. I think it's something in the file somewhere that I should hopefully be able to rectify. I've just come from here. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. There's nothing in here. Okay, right. What am I looking for? Was there some? I'm sure it's something to do with the fruit knife. I'm sure of it. There we go. I knew there was something like that. Fruit knife. Maybe I should take it just for self-defense. Got a knife. Oh, hello. Blood? This wasn't here earlier. Did something happen to Sissy? So I can't walk through the blood, but I can walk around. <laughs> the door is unlocked. Oh, this was the locked door. Okay. Sissy, what are you doing here? Whoa, your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught on something. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you have anemia? Uh, yeah, that's not good. I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. <sighs> Give me your hand, Sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try and wrap it up. Ah, I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt. It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? 
It's silly that I'm wandering around this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm. I ought to find some measly box. Measly, but it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend? Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. That's really inappropriate. <laughs> huh? You left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said all I had. And when, when he broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a little while longer. I'm all dizzy. Oh, and thanks for your help, David. Oh, I found this. I'm not sure where it goes to, though. Found a key to somewhere. <laughs> thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. So we have a key to somewhere. Why are you why are you always like this, David? Like like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Do you have any person do you even have a personality? I don't mean to, I mean I just try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. Oh, I think this is Shirley, the his ex girlfriend. You're not kind, you're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same as me, right? That's why I can't trust you. Wow, bitch. Look, please just listen. I'm always thinking of you. And if I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again. Thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. That's just, it's just a man being a man. If we don't know what we did, we apologize. We still apologize for it. Then what should I do? You don't, you just don't trust me. Is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I'd hate to I'd hate for it to end this way, but I think we would be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we can talk this out. Shirley Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that, timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Okay. Again, you won't have seen it, but I just had to do the whole save and quit thing again, and it's really irritating me, so I'm going to have to try and do something with the, uh, with the text. But... So we have a key to somewhere, but uh, we should find out where it goes to in the next episode. Uh, it's good to be playing this again. Uh, I hope I can sort the problems with the text issues. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take me because I'm not quite sure what the issue is, but uh, hopefully I can solve it. Otherwise, there might be portions of this that uh, the text is not readable. I apologize for that, but I'm still psyched to be playing this again. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. I salute you all, and I will see you all with another video very soon.